Life is full of challenges. Many lead us to do higher and better things, but often they can have a negative impact on our health, wealth, relationships, work, and general well-being. If this happens, they become a wake-up call for us to take responsibility for our lives, gain a deeper understanding of the situation, giving us the opportunity to connect to our true selves. So the first time I came to Patricia for my very first journey process was due to an ongoing medical issue that I've had. Um, it was a lump actually in my neck, underneath my skin. Um, medical professionals, countless doctor visits, uh, MRI scans, very scary at hospitals. No clue what it was. Nobody could tell me what was wrong with me. In September 2004, my dad was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Within a week, he lost about a stone, nearly nine kilos. And what we had to do is accept that situation and see reality as it was and become active. Eventually, the efforts began to take shape. The research was always based on complementary and conventional expertise. It was a big wake up call for all of us. We did a lot of thinking and I was wondering how could I really trust that inner certainty that homeopathy would be the right approach in this case? This was then backed up when my friend explained to me about the plussing method. And so the next step was to find a top medical consultant, somebody my dad would trust and was also trained in homeopathy. And we found two. What they emphasised during the treatment was that it was very important to find out the reason why my dad got ill in the first place, because if he didn't find out the root cause, and even though the treatment could be successful at the end, the cancer could always return. And six months later, he was given the all clear. Jetzt vor einigen Tagen war ich wieder dort, wieder in Kernspin und man hat gesagt, es ist kein Tumor mehr zu sehen. Wenn ein Mensch in der Lage ist, von, von seiner eigenen Kraft her noch gesund zu werden, dann kann die Homöopathie diesen Prozess anregen. Wenn das bereits vorbei ist, wenn diese Kraft einfach nicht mehr vorhanden ist und auch nicht mehr zu aktivieren ist, dann ist auch die Homöopathie chancenlos. This put me on to a quest to explore other proven to be effective therapies that not only work on a cellular level, but also guide the person into the root cause of issues so they can be addressed wholeheartedly and that activate the body's own self-healing mechanism. This is how I came across the journey process. It does all of the aforementioned and even more. And on top of that, enables the person to thoroughly release negative suppressed emotions. And as I was trying out its effectiveness, I was able to understand and heal the reasons for my prolapse disc, panic attacks, and what led me to have abnormal cervical cells. I came to Patricia and we actually did my very first journey process together then and I felt so enlightened at the end of it. I remember feeling like a weight had come off my shoulders physically. A couple of weeks later, I noticed the lump had started to shrink and down and down until it was completely gone. I remember seeing myself within a past life and like a shining white light and we had figured out together that was my soul and we managed to unpack all those sort of self-limiting beliefs as well. They completely went away. And I remember feeling after just so refreshed, so amazed. What, what we did in an hour had pretty much changed my life. Well, I went to a talk um, in Eastbourne and uh, Patricia was there and I found it really interesting. And at the time, uh, I'd split up from my husband and uh, both my children and myself were having problems as a result. So I went along with my daughter and um, it really helped us both at the time and then later on my son came along and yeah she helped us. 
I've always had IBS, well, for many years now, and I've always managed to deal with it um, and keep it under control. But um, uh, during the first lockdown that we had, um, where we couldn't see anybody for three months, totally locked away, um, the IBS was so bad that I couldn't control it in any way, and the doctors couldn't deal with it either. And I'd been to see Pat uh, Patricia before, and she'd helped me, um, and I know that um, these things can be caused by blockages and set at the cellular level. So um, I came, went to see her, and um, basically it just changed my life, really, because it just totally, immediately stopped the IBS, and I was able to just get on with my life. I'm grateful to Patricia and the journey, the journey processes, for a challenging time in my life when I was experiencing uh, quite some inner turmoil. And the journey processes helped with a deeper understanding of what was going on and giving me a momentum and inner strength to carry on through that period, which was a great period of learning and self-discovery for me. Things that motivate me, the things I'm passionate about, the things I'd uh, rather avoid in life, th those kind of things. Guten Tag, mein Name ist Fabian Silvio. Ich habe am 8.8.2015 unter einer Straftat an schweren Schneeentraum erlitten. Ich war fünf Wochen im Koma, elf Monate in der Schmierklinik und diverse weitere Reha-Einrichtungen. Patricia Sargent hat mich ungefähr vor drei Jahren mal therapiert und hat mir in Zukunft, für mich in Zukunft geblickt. Sie hat mir vorausgesagt, ich werde irgendwann das Snowboard fahren, ohne zu wissen, dass ich Snowboard fahren werde. Das hat mich sehr motiviert und war mein großes Ziel, weil ich auch früher begann, begann und das Snowboard war und Begeisterung alle möglichen Sportler gemacht habe. Hoch, weit, schnell war meine Devise, das heißt Handball spielen, Fitnessstudio, Snowboard fahren, wie gesagt, und klettern, bouldern, alles meine, meine Hobbys, deswegen habe ich daraufhin wieder hingearbeitet. Habe das Ziel jetzt vor zwei Jahren erreicht und bin wieder Snowboard gefahren. The secret to Fabian's and my other clients' successful transformational healing journeys lies in the reconnection with their soul and spirit. I felt happier after, especially when um, I got quite emotional during, during the journey, which was quite nice. It made me, I was very thoughtful after for the next few days afterwards as well. Um, but it certainly, I think it certainly, it did something to me. I mean, even, I mean, even now, I mean, a lot of stuff that we spoke about with my mum, um, yeah, made me very thoughtful around her afterwards. I think I, I think I got a bit rid of, I, think, I do think I got rid of a bit of baggage. Our cells are capable to transform negativity into positivity, unless we block that Actions, reactions, thought processes reflect our inner world and are based on emotions held within the subconscious mind. Experiments by Emoto Masaru clearly show how emotions shape water molecules. We are made of 70% of water and so are our cells. So I've actually had the privilege of doing this work since I was 10. And the thing that's helped me the most is to be one with my inner body. It's helped me with relationships. It's helped me with my going through my parents' divorce. Um, it's helped me with my weight. And it's even helped me with a benign lump that I actually had in my breast that is now completely gone. And I do think it would be so beneficial for people my age to have the opportunity to work through their mental health and their self-confidence and just really find out who they really are. So I would seriously recommend, especially someone my age, young person from the ages of, especially about 13 upwards, you know, if you're within that teenage age bracket as well and you have gone through things in your life that you do struggle to speak about, 
I would seriously recommend going to you, Patricia, just because your service is just so friendly. I felt so at ease and it's not even, I think we have a lot of problems with labels these days with therapy and things like that, but the journey work is so much more than that. That whole process, including the journey, was learning more about myself. What is the real me and what am I about? She will work in such a way that you will feel comfortable, relaxed, um, there'll be no judgement. You can just release without fear of judgement, basically. It was definitely worth taking my time out to do the journey with Patricia, because it definitely shifted something in me and it made me, it made me happier, um, it made me feel lighter, and I would definitely, I'd definitely go back. What had started as a no way out situation had transformed itself unexpectedly into the realization of something I always wanted to do. And that's to work with people and assist them on their healing journey so they can reconnect with who they truly are and find inner strength and completeness. Since I have been doing this work, I was lucky enough to witness countless recoveries from people from all walks of life. It is always worthwhile going on a journey of self-discovery because it is immensely beneficial for your body, mind and soul.